it's been quite a while since I last recorded. That is because my boyfriend came to London. So I decided to spend my whole weekend with him and not film. Please excuse the lighting and the backdrop. Well, the backdrop. This is not a green screen as you can see. This is my curtains. And I'm actually using my artificial lighting at the moment because um, I'm outside is actually pretty dark. As you guys know, I work. So during my weekdays, I try not to film. Actually, not that I try, I can't film because by the time I come home from work, it's, the lighting is pretty rubbish. But now I have this artificial lighting and this is going to be the first time that I will be using this. And yes, there's a lot of banging noises. That's from outside. Apparently today is Guy Fox night. Um, I did not notice until I went to work and yeah, it's basically the England version of Bonfire Night. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if you guys have it uh, in your country, but in back in Northern Ireland, our Bonfire Night is at the 12th of July and it's not just fireworks. It's like burning cars, burning wood, just, it's just chaos. But yeah, happy Guy Fox Night! So today's video, I will be doing a what's in my bag tag. In fact, before I do this, I want to show you my new bag. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys should know that I've been dying to get my hands on a Monster Gabriel bucket bag. And unfortunately, it has been sold out everywhere online and apparently um, it's not going to be restocked until December. But I'm not even sure am I going to get it, although I really, really want it. It's just quite pricey and at the moment I'm trying to save up for the future, so um, I don't know. But to fix this problem, I have decided to buy a cheaper alternative. So I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like. So this is my Sarah bag. Okay, so this is what my bucket bag looks like from Sarah. Oh, wrong way. It's actually the perfect size. Um, there was another bu uh, bucket bag in Sarah. It was actually quite big and I, I just didn't like it at all. But this one is just perfect. It's got a drawstring tie where you can tighten. And at the front, I really like this big zip detail. I actually haven't um, properly looked at this bag because um, it was just a quick visit during my lunch break. But I bought it anyway because I fell in love with it. And it wasn't actually quite expensive. Um, it was $49.99. And I'm not sure what material this is. It's definitely not leather, so I'm just gonna say it's leatherette. Inside the bag, it's actually pretty big. Um, it actually fit a lot of things. It's like a sort of a cottony, um, a very, you know, like a sandbag sort of material. And that's what the lining inside is like. At the side, there is um, a sort of buckle detail. And then we have the strap that that you can disconnect but the strap looks very feeble I'm not really sure if it's quite stable but hopefully it's okay I'm pretty happy with this Sarah bag and it will do until I get the money to buy my dream bag so back to the what's in my bag tag I'm just going to be swapping my current bag into this bag so you guys get to see what's in my bag technically this should be what's in my work bag because my everyday bag is my work bag so this is my current work bag. It's a, some sort of a Gucci brand. I'm not really sure the name of it. And it's very convenient. I like it because it's easy to wear. I just kind of hang it on to myself. Um, but it's gone to a point where it's getting scratched and battered and I don't think my mom will be very happy about that. So uh, let's see what's inside. First, I will start off with my glasses case. This is my glasses case. I got this from um, Ladies Market in Hong Kong. It's a sort of a rubber material. I don't like using my actual glasses case because it's quite bulky. So um, I decided to get this one which is quite thin and it's quite flexible. So I can, I can um, put my sunglasses in there instead of my glasses in the summer. So inside here we have my Ted Baker glasses, which is really dirty. <laughs> I don't usually wear glasses very often. I usually wear contacts, but if like during my day my contacts fall out or um, I just have really um, ir irritated or tired eyes, I usually change them into glasses. 
So let's pop this into my neat bag. And then after, I always carry some tissues. There's not much to say about this. Next, we have my umbrella. This is the tote umbrella. Lindy got me this from, oh, should I say Bob's Beauty? She got me this from Debenhams about a year ago. Basically, how it happened was that when we were out, she was borrowing my umbrella and she managed to break it by slamming the door onto my umbrella. So it actually broke in half. It was very nice of her to go into Debenhams to buy me a proper sturdy umbrella. I, I think this was 18 pounds and it's really small, really compact. It's perfect for to put in your bag for every day. It's been in my bag every day since I've moved to London and I don't go out without it even during summer because it's UK and the weather is unpredictable. Sometimes you get snow during spring, so that explains it all. Let's pop this to my bag. Next, we have my, my lunch box. This is gonna be my work bag, so therefore there will be my lunch box. Put the focus. This is a super cute lunch box that my, my boyfriend bought me when we were in Brussels. It's very European, the pattern. Um, I'm loving like, you know, the polka dotty, the, the, the birds and the flowers sort of detail. It's very vintagey. So I really like it. Um, oh, it stinks. It's, it's clean, but you know, when you have food inside it, it's smelly. It smells off my fried rice. Hopefully this fits. Plenty of room. Next, we have my purse. I'm currently using my Prada purse that I got from Brian Thomas. I can't remember how much this cost. I just basically gave my mom all the euros that I had and told her to buy me a purse and she bought me this. Uh, it's really cute. I think the color is um, called beige pink and it's got a bow detail. Inside my purse looks like this. So at the top, we have all my important cards, credit card, debit card, driving license, my old uni card. At the front, we have all my store cards, which um, there's my boots card, there is my uh, super drug card, and then this is my Liberty London card, which I don't use very often because Liberty London is super expensive. And then we have my gym card, LA Fitness, which I don't go to anymore. <laughs> And um, what else do I have in here? I have my receipt at the front. Inside here is where I keep all my change, which I don't have a lot. Um, I've got my cold sore cream, which is an essential because you don't know when those nasty little buggers will come out. And it's always most effective if you put it on before the blisters come out. But yes, I am a cold sore victim. <sighs> Moving on, we have my cash, which I don't have a lot. I've got like a fiber. And then in here we have all my loyalty cards. I've got two Nando cards, which I'm not sure why, and a bubble tea card as well. And this makes up my purse. I don't like filling it up to the rim because I like to keep the shape of it. And it still smells so good, the Sapiano lever. Oh, anyway, into the bag it goes. Next, I have this. This is a bag holder and this is really handy when you're going out for dinner uh, or you know sitting somewhere that has no storage space. You lie this thing flat onto the table and you have this dangling hook. You basically hook your handbag onto this so it doesn't touch the floor or get dirtied or get in the way of things. I'm actually not really sure how I'm going to use this with this bag because the strap is pretty long. But it's pretty sturdy for what it is. My friend got me this one during her holiday in, what do you call that place, Albufeira in Portugal. And I've been using it since. So um, this is how it looks like. You kind of hook your bike here. And yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Next, we have some cosmetics. I don't bring a lot of cosmetics out, but I do bring the essentials. What I have is my Maybelline concealer. 
It's always good when you have paradise after work. I always bring some sort of lip product out. At the moment, I'm using the, the Clinique Chubby Stick, which I got free from a magazine. And then I have um, a blusher, um, just a compact one where, you know, just gives your face a, um, some color so you don't look like a zombie. So these are the three things that I usually bring out. Next, we have my train pass. This is essential when you're living and commuting in London. I got this as a gift when I was quite young. Um, it's like, I, it's probably about six or seven years old and it's from Paper Chase. So inside we have my Oyster card and my train pass. This is the most expensive thing that I have to pay every month. This is £150 guaranteed every month, my train pass. It is so expensive to live in London. And my Oyster card, which is the limited edition. Anyway, in the, in the bag it goes. Next, I have my work pass, which you don't want to see the picture. Next, we have my hand cream. This is the L'Occitane Shea Butter Hand Cream. It is the best hand cream ever, period. It's just so good and it smells amazing. Um, I've had this for maybe about three months and I've still got like a tiny bit left. I think this can last me for one more month. Because I always have the heater on, my skin always feels quite dry. So it's always really good to have this around, especially during the winter times. Next, I have my contact lenses. I always bring a spare pair of contact lenses, despite bringing my glasses out. Because, um, like I said, you never know what would happen to my current contact lenses. It could fall out, or I'm deciding to go out to meet some friends and I don't really want to wear my geeky glasses it's always handy to have a spare pair of contact lenses and I usually put these at the side of the bag where the slots are with my train pass so it's easy access that's what she said anyway back to this finally um, the last three products is a hair bubble because um, well now that I've got short hair I don't really need it as much but when I had long hair I always had a hair bobble in my bag and it's just a habit and then I have a lolly I always have some sort of sweetie in my bag I am so sorry about the fireworks outside I'm just noticing how loud it is and finally my house keys with my I love Venezia I think it's how you say it uh, Venice let's just keep with Venice with my I love Venice key ring Oh, I totally forgot. I also have my phone. I always bring this, although um, it's never in my bag. It's usually in my hand. But this is the iPhone 6 Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the iPhone 6 Plus, and I'm currently using the official silicon apple case in pink. So yeah, that is everything in my bag. I don't think I bring a lot, do I? I don't think so. It's just my lunchbox that takes up most of the room. When I'm going out, I usually just take out my lunchbox and head out. But um, this is a close. I've never actually tested this before. So um, this is how it looks like. So yeah, everything just fits perfectly in this bag. I love it. And it's not heavy as well, which is good because you, sometimes you get like bags that are quite heavy. But this is perfect. I really like this bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Apologies, it's not the most interesting -est thing that you can find in a bag. But yeah, I'm very average. I don't like to bring too much. And I, tr well, that is a lot, I guess. But, you know, if I'm really limited, I usually just bring my purse and my keys and my train pass. Oh, on my phone. If you have any requests in other videos, just leave me a comment down below. Um, have a nice time and I'll see you soon. Bye!